Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I've decided to do like a December's favourites. Um, I was gonna do like the like a full year's favourite video but I couldn't really think of anything that I'd like that had really like stood out for me throughout the whole year because we were at home for most of the year. I first of all want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, hope everyone and their family is all good. Um, it's been a really strange year. We're in tier four at the moment, which means we couldn't see our family around Christmas, which was pretty tough, but it was fine. You make the best out of a bad situation and we got through it and it was fine. Um, and I guess that new year will be the same. So I've decided to do a mix of fitness things, beauty things. Um, I've even got some food because that's what December is all about. I've got some hair stuff. So I'll just get on with the video. So I'm going to start with the fitness stuff first. So there has been one pair of leggings that had completely had my heart for the whole of December up until we went into tier four and can't go to the gym now. Um, I've kind of just taken the last week off, probably gonna take this week off as well and then just go back to working out at home in January. Like I, I don't particularly enjoy working out from home. Um, I'll do it because it makes me feel good, but it's just not my favorite. I use a lot of the machines rather than kind of just, you know, whatever you can use at home. Um, I have luckily got some kettlebells, which I bought in the last lockdown in November, which I use and they're fine, but you know, they're not the heaviest. I've got a 10 kg and a four kg and they're fine, but they're not, you can't do everything with them, obviously. Um, but the leggings that I have absolutely loved, they're the Alphaly Amplify, I wanna say they are. Um, they came out, I think they came out in, in November, I think they came out during Black Friday. Um, I wasn't really like, I'm not too bothered with Alpha Lee and don't ever, well I didn't really ever look at their stuff before. And then I saw a load of YouTube videos kind of recommended that were like, Alpha Lee's best leggings, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay, well I'll just watch them, I've got nothing else to do. And I saw these and I was just completely like, they look really plain and simple they're just normal length but this like bum scrunch is just something else um the material's really really nice really sweat wicking as well like even when i take these out of like the washing machine they they feel dry so they dry really really quickly um i bought them in a medium i I'm generally a small, I wear a small in Gymshark, most of Gymshark, some stuff I do size up in, I'm kind of in between a small and a medium. Um, and I bought these in a medium because I was kind of worried. And I put them on, I was like, oh yeah, medium's great. And as I've been wearing them, I probably could have done with a small, um, but they're still fine. I think maybe I'll put them in the temple dryer or something and try and shrink them down. But they're so nice, they're so flattering. Um, I never ever get compliments in the gym, like from girls or anything like that. And one of the girls that she came up to me and was like, why are leggings from? Like, I love them. So I've got this color, which I think is called like titanium or something. Um, these are actually the second pair I bought. I first of all bought these ones, which I know are called dark water. They're a really random color. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge fan of these sports bras or the crop tops that they came out with that go with these. I'm a bit more of a fan of kind of strappier sports bras. Um, so I actually thought I have a really hard time finding a color that goes with this other than white and black, um, which is why I decided to buy the gray ones because I absolutely love these, but these are, I would recommend getting one of maybe, if you don't like the sports bras and you don't like the crop tops, I'd recommend maybe getting one of the more muted colors that you could chop and change with other things. Um, you can still, because they're not green and they're not blue, they look a bit odd with green and they look a bit odd with blue. I end up wearing, like I said, white and black and I'm sure you could wear grey with them as well, like this kind of grey they'd obviously go with. But that's the one kind of annoying thing with these. But these are the ones I bought first and like I said, I wasn't sure on them. 
because uh, well i loved them but i wasn't sure in the color so i ended up buying the gray, the gray ones but i love them so much that i just wouldn't send them back i just kept both but the um the waistband is really interesting oh i don't think that's gonna show it but it's got like three different tiers of um paneling so it's really really nice and compressionate around your stomach the bum scrunch is just so nice so, you know it's easy to see on the gray ones um they are on the expensive side, but they're my favourite workout leggings that I've ever owned. So I would definitely, definitely recommend getting some. They've got loads of colours. They've, I think they've got like a yellow. They've got black, grey, blue, like a nice blue. I wear a lot of blue to the gym. I thought I can't be buying another blue pair of leggings, even though those are kind of, kind of bluey. The next thing that I've been loving that's kind of fitness related was these. These are the... Power Beats Pro um, in ear earphones. Um, I used to wear AirPods to the gym, then I changed to full like headphones and they just weren't comfortable to work out in. I always found that the top of my hair would get really, really frizzy from the band of the, head, the headphones. And my AirPods are really, really, really quiet. So I kind of just didn't really like using them in the gym. And I started Googling and um john lewis had these on like half price i think for black friday and i watched some reviews on them and i was like yeah i'm sold on them i've got really tiny ears and i've got really tiny like in ears um so i was worried that they would be like too big but actually they were fine i'm using the smallest tip and they're, they're absolutely fine they're i couldn't wear them for longer than maybe two hours i'd say they do start to kind of make my ears hurt after a while because obviously they're just pushed in but they're really good for like noise cancelling um they're obviously quite basic because they're beats but that's fine for the gym um and i've been really enjoying working out with them so i would definitely recommend them again they come in loads of different colors i've gone for navy with like i think it's like rose gold um which i really really like i really like this color they have this like lime green which i also really liked but i thought when am I going to wear anything that's going to go with lime green unless it's like black and white so I end up getting the navy and I really like them the case is a little bit bulky which is, is a bit annoying but if you have a gym bag or if you carry a bag normally I guess it wouldn't be that annoying um and I do find they need charging a lot more than the headphones um I never really had to charge the headphones it would be every few weeks probably whereas these it's kind of every few days but it's the same as airpods really they're not too different from the charge time of airpods and then the last fitness item is some protein powder um i was when i first started working out i never had protein powder i thought it was i think a lot of people think it's kind of a bulking up and things like that and i was like i don't want to bulk up but i kind of learned about how protein helps the muscles and also can help with weight loss um, getting a lot leaner, things like that. So I read a lot more about it and decided that it was something that I wanted to start trying to take. So I wasn't sure on what flavours I'd like. So I ended up buying a load of different flavoured sachets. So you've, with um, my protein, you can buy sachets that are just like one use sachets. And so I ended up buying loads of them, like chocolate banana, chocolate mint. I've still got quite a few, which I guess would be good for traveling. If you were traveling and still working out, the chateaus would probably be better to bring than something like this. Um, I tried loads and loads of flavors and I just didn't really like them. Like the flavors that I was buying, I didn't really like. The chocolate banana made me actually feel sick. Um, I think I tried salt caramel, which was fine. Um, vanilla was okay i'm not a big fan of milk and i didn't really want to have it with water so i just kind of dealt with it um and then black friday came around and i was like okay i'm gonna buy a pro like a big bag of protein powder had no idea what flavor i, I was gonna use or was gonna buy because i was like i don't like any of them I was like you know what speculu sounds really really nice so i ended up buying this one and i'm so happy i bought it it's so nice it tastes like caramel biscuits and it's nice in the morning it's nice after you work out i normally if i go to the gym early i normally use a protein shake for like a meal replacement and i will bring a protein bar or a cereal bar with me to the gym if i'm hungry after um 
but it's not too sweet in the morning that's i think that was the problem with like the chocolate ones they were just too sweet in the morning and i really like it i definitely get this flavor again the chocolate banana i just wouldn't recommend it was kind of gross so that's it for fitness things um gonna go on to like beauty things now i actually don't have that much of beauty i only have two things but they are quite good so i i guess this kind of goes into the gym actually when i was um going to, when i was first going to the gym i would just go about makeup i wouldn't really think about it and then in december my skin got really really bad well it wasn't really december it was november and it just carried on to december and i felt like quite self-conscious going to the gym without at least like a foundation on and i was using because i self-tan as well my face was a completely different so i had like brown neck pale face and then like red so it was just very obvious so that's why i wanted to wear foundation um but i was using my essay lauder foundation which is obviously quite expensive and i literally was putting it on before going to the gym and then taking it off and i think it was making my skin worse because obviously i was sweating it was probably going into my pores it just wasn't the nicest thing and so i ended up looking online for just like a cheap i was like i don't even care just a cheap foundation that i can put on for the gym take it off straight away and that's it um and i came across this one which is the maybelline dream urban cover full coverage lightweight protective makeup it's got spf 50 and it's anti-pollution um i got this in the shades 220 beige 220 natural beige and i'm normally tawny in sa lauder um and i just put it in online you know those websites that you can put in um you can put in your foundation shade in one foundation and then and then find your shade in the other foundation um i did that and this is the one that came up i looked at the color online and i was like it just looked very pink on the picture online and i was like there's no way that's my shade but i was like trust it i'll just buy it, it doesn't matter i'm just gonna wear it to the gym and uh i bought it from Superdrug. drug literally got it on today absolutely love it so much cheaper than Lauda. It lasts me all day as well. Um, and my skin isn't breaking out as bad. So I'm thinking maybe it just had a bad reaction to the Lauda makeup. It was either stress or double wear. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I just take it off after the gym and it's fine. And then my last like beauty thing, kind of beauty thing, this one's more hair is I've been using some Olaplex stuff. I got new extensions, they're nice. My hair's nice and long again. Um, right before we went into tier four actually, so the week before, I was very lucky with when my appointment kind of uh, lined up. Um, and I was just doing a Google because every time I get new extensions, I, towards the end of my old extensions, I do just get a little bit lazy with them. It's not ideal, but things like not kind of drying them properly not using as much oil as it should be like when i know i'm gonna get new hair i just kind of slack a bit which it is what it is like i just do that um so i always go through my hair care routine and work out stuff that i like stuff that i feel like i need like if i needed a leave-in conditioner or i need a new oil or anything like that i kind of go through and have a look and um i realized that i probably needed a new oil yes yeah, so then i looked on i think it was look fantastic and they had this little like bundle i can't remember how much it was but they had the bundle of the number six bond smoother and the number seven bonding oil i've only used this twice so i don't have much to say about it but i do like it from what i've seen of it but yeah, so I was looking on the website and saw that they had the bundle and I was, I was, I've been looking at the oil for ages and um, I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to get it. I need a new oil, whatever. And got them and they are tiny. So this is my Beauty Works Argan Serum. You can see it's, it's getting there. This is actually my second one. Um, I used to swear by it. And I thought it would be you know, a similar size to this. If this is 30 mil, this is 80 mil. I was just surprised. I was like, this is tiny. Like this is gonna last me like a week. Um, and I've used it pretty much every day and you can barely see that I've used it. You, I found this out. You kind of like tap it into your hand. You need like not a lot. That's probably too much. I rub it through and then I just literally rub it through my ends. And it makes my hair so shiny, so soft. It like 
slicks down any like hairs that are like sticking out definitely one of my favorites from december and my last this isn't really a beauty product but i guess it would go under kind of like cosmetics is the s bar fitness shower oil this is actually new i haven't even used this um but i was using a sample through the whole of december any time that i was coming back from the gym this is what i was using in the shower my mum actually bought me this for christmas i actually asked her to get it for me after using the sample um i was using the sample very sparingly as well so it would last throughout december because i knew my mum was going to get me this and um oh what does it say a nourishing creamy shower oil to cleanse the body and revitalize the mind and it is so nice the smell of it every time i get in the shower after a workout i'm like <sighs> you just feel like completely just reset like a shower after a workout is so good and then you add this into it and it's it's just incredible next level one random category which is a book this is the secret i know that it's or at least in in recent years a lot of people kind of talk about it i definitely heard about it in more recent years and i wanted to read it for ages i actually looked at buying it last year i want to say and then i was like oh no like i wasn't that into reading you didn't have that much time to read last year and then we come to this year and all i've done is read um and it's all about like manifesting the law of attraction if it's something that interests you i'd really really recommend it um i it just, it just makes you think in a different way i think i'm only halfway through it but i thought i'd add it into my favorites anyway because i was like i've been really enjoying it i normally read like two books on the go here's the definition of non-fiction prose writing that is informative or factual rather than fictional i normally read something that's a bit more like non-fiction alongside fiction so i have one book that's non-fiction one book that's fiction i'll probably finish it within the next few weeks to be honest it's not like a big book and lastly we're on to food um December is the month for food, I feel. And although I've been trying my best to kind of eat a bit cleaner and feel my body in a better way, obviously December comes around and you've got to treat yourself. You've got to live your life, especially after the year we've had. We all deserve a little bit of chocolate. So I've got a few bits for food. The first thing actually isn't so bad. I have been getting Grey's boxes every week. I forgot that Grace was a thing and then I got a misguided parcel I want to say and it came with the slips for a free box so I just signed up with a different email address <laughs> and then got a, got a free box. I haven't had a box in like literally years and I got it and I was like oh no that's that was actually pretty nice. So I've actually got it for the last like three weeks I want to say and I paid for the other two obviously. This one's empty. I've eaten the well I say I've eaten the snacks I've got one left. I've got the banana protein flapjack, like one piece of it left, which I've been eating like with my breakfast the last few days. Um, and it's really, really nice. Um, but it's been nice just to have like a little snack, like rather than picking up a bag of crisps, picking up a bag of sweets, like having something that I know isn't as bad for me, is a bit more natural, you know, has no like real flavourings and like that has, be nice especially for this month when i'm eating a lot of chocolate anyway when i actually do want a proper snack it's really nice to be able to turn on these with like to have different things like nuts and just healthier snacks really my last my last favorite and probably the most important one is celebrations I'm not a big chocolate fan throughout the year look, the box is open <laughs> it is boxing day when i'm filming this so it's okay <laughs> But I'm not a big chocolate fan. And then Celebrations comes out every year and I'm like, wow, I love chocolate. I don't know what order I'd put them in. I don't mind bounties. I know that is a cardinal sin, but I actually don't mind them. Snickers are not for me. And Twixes aren't for me either really actually. So, but they're just so good. I've literally got these ones out on my bed. Um, these are my favorite ones. <laughs> I've picked them out so I don't have to go through the whole box. But yes, I hope everyone has a good new year. I will probably see you in the new year because I'll probably upload next Sunday. I say this, I didn't upload for the last two weeks, but it's fine. We, don't, we won't think about that. It's been Christmas, you know. Um, so yeah, I'll probably upload next Sunday. Um, if you've got any video ideas, anything you want me to do, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. Have a really nice new year. Um, 
let me know if you've got any new year's resolutions i don't think i've really got any because we don't i guess we don't really know when anything's going to be open again especially for tier four like we have no idea so i'm not even going to make any resolutions i don't think i think i'm just gonna work keep working on myself making sure that i'm good in myself practicing self-love making sure that i'm getting as active as i can during tier four other than that nothing nothing else i'd say um so yeah i'll see you all next week please like and subscribe turn the notifications on comment um like i said if you've got any video ideas please let me know and i will see you all next week bye Ow. Ow.